I want to, uh, what I'm going to say is will fit in well with uh, what Dr. Scala was saying. We um, are headquartered in the United States, but a few years ago, uh, lawyers from Latin America came to us and asked if we would help in the pro uh, production of a report on human rights, uh, particularly the right to life in Latin America. Now, uh, we have this publication, which I'm going to be telling you about, both in Spanish and in English. We have also, before I forget, we have a, a table out here, uh, AUL, Ameri I think it just says AUL, and we have copies of, um, I guess you would call it a, a preview of the final publication. Our final publication is longer than this, but what we have, and you can pick up a copy if you would like at our table, um, is defending the human right to life in Latin America. So our fundamental point, and the point of the lawyers we work with in Latin America, is there are no human rights unless there is the right to life. So that is the fundamental right of all rights. So what did we do in this publication? And uh, by the way, I hope you like the cover. Uh, it was designed by our uh, collaborators in Latin America. We love the cover. It turns out that it's the same same color as uh, some of the sponsors of this uh, conference, so I'm pleased with that. Um, what we did was, to we, we didn't cover every country in Latin America, but we did cover some countries. So what is first, what is this publication if you pick it up? It has an essay to begin with by me about human rights and the right to life. Then it has an essay by the lawyer who was our collaborator. Just a minute, please. Apparently, we're having problems with the technology. No. Yeah, go ahead. No, the problem has been fixed. Continue. Okay, can you, yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. Start, okay. Start from the beginning. Okay. We don't mind. Got it. Um, This is a publication that my organization was asked to produce by lawyers in Latin America. Um, part of the reason they wanted us to do this was because of some of the things you heard by Dr. Scala, which is the effort to turn Latin America in an anti-life direction. Does it work now? Can you okay. So, our collaborators who are lawyers in Latin America wanted us to, to do a study of the laws in Latin America. So um, when the Europeans or the American or the North Americans come down and say you must change your laws because human rights are all about abortion, they can show them what the real laws are in Latin America, um, etc. So what what do we cover in this in this report? What I said a minute ago was we have a, a table out here, uh, Americans United for Life. If you want to get one of these publications, you can get one. They are in Spanish and they are in English, so you can get whichever you like. Um, we are going to publish a longer version of this report in about three weeks, and you can get it at our webpage, which is www.aul. AUL.org. So in three weeks you can get the full text in Spanish or the full text in English. So what do we cover in here? Well, this again, this short report I have, which is a preview, just has an essay by me about human rights and the right to life, and an essay by our lawyer collaborators about the situation in Latin America. <coughs> Latin America is the most pro-life part of the world. Its laws are the most pro-life part of the world. Therefore, it is the target of pro-abortion forces who are trying to make them change their laws. 
and they try to do it sometimes through the courts and sometimes through the legislatures, but often they do it by the wealthy donors saying, you know, we'd like to give you money, but you're very antiquated in your views on abortion. You need to liberalize your abortion laws. So we covered Mexico. You just heard some about Mexico. And here we cover Mexico. We cover Honduras. We cover uh, uh, Colombia. We have an essay on also on Brazil on the... Um, the effect of the pro-life issue in the Brazilian elections, which was very important and continues to, to play out now as the, the presidential candidate had to distance herself from abortion, but now there's questions about her appointments, whether she's appointing for abortion people. So we have an essay on that. And then we have uh, reports on Paraguay, Argentina, and Chile. So we cover Latin America by covering seven nations. We don't cover every nation. But we do cover them in, in quite a bit of depth. We look at both their national legislation, uh, their court decisions, and also um, at any international obligations they've assumed under treaties, etc. Um, I, was, I was saying before, I think when the machine uh, was a work translation was working, that I hope you like the cover. They designed the cover. We think it will appeal to people. Our view is that human rights are the inheritance of all human beings. The human rights are not an instrument to be used by the left uh, or social uh, extremists against tradition. Human rights are the inheritance of all people, but the people include unborn people. And, and uh, so we like the cover, and we hope you like the cover. Uh, this report, just to repeat, will be available in complete form on our webpage in about three weeks and also printed. But we have Spanish copies of the preview if you'd like to get them here, and uh, also English copies. Thank you.